Kia ora katoa. katoa. Nice, nice to meet you. you. My name is Cecilia Lund. I'm Zaydel Sakini. And I'm Madeline Martin, a member of the New Zealand National Representative Team and student at Kristen School. Kristen is a school in Auckland that teaches FES to students from Year 9 upwards, encouraging them to engage not only in the curriculum, but externally as an additional activity. For those who aren't familiar with geography, New Zealand is in the Pacific Ocean and we are a very long distance away from the rest of the world. Our population totals 5 million, with the preservation of biodiversity, natural spaces, and encouragement of sustainable thinking, a defining aspect of national identity. But, being a picturesque island with a large tourism industry comes with its limitations, and when the world was first threatened by the risk of coronavirus, New Zealand employed a strict, act-fast strategy, aiming to contain the virus through the closure of many public spaces, transports, events, and workplaces. Here at school, we felt the impact no longer able to see friends or socialise as per normal. But this left us thinking, how did COVID affect those already in a position of vulnerability to isolation? It was with this idea that we decided upon our area of concern. COVID prompted social isolation among retirement home residents. With an emphasis on the detrimental effects of social isolation on these elderly residents, we realised that our proposed solution had to involve implementing programmes to halt such at the source. Rather than treating the physical impacts caused by isolation, we conducted an event to encourage residents to come together and relive positive periods in their lives socializing and immersing themselves in their community. Our first event was an old school performance evening held at Settlers Village in Auckland. Students from Kristen were invited to perform pieces from the 50s, 60s, 70s or 80s in front of residents, who in turn were able to reminisce and socialize with the transition into the village's normal happy hour. Our second event, a resident and student forum, aimed to encourage the fostering of more personal connections with other residents allowing them to discuss their opinions on education then and now with students in small groups. Together, these actions allowed us to address our underlying problem and tackle the issue of COVID-prompted social isolation within our chosen community. However, such events could only have a maximal impact for a short period of time. What our project needed was a long-term avenue for continuation. With this, we created our website, Project RHR, or Rest Home Revival. Compiling resources from past projects involving the elderly, we realised that a main hurdle stopping students participating in similar endeavours was not just the added difficulty, but the idea of the unknown. By presenting a hub of information, tips and contacts in one place, more students could conduct similar projects against social isolation and establish a futuristic, lasting ripple effect. This was our project. Many thanks for your time listening to this short clip. And we wish the other competitors all the best in this year's international conference. Hi, Hi, Hi. 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 Hi.